Design Day is an event that happens every semester, at the end of the semester, celebrating the accomplishments of the engineering design students. Okay, so basically we made a can crusher for our ME371 project, and it had to utilize cans, gears, and linkages. And so they were all located on the bottom base of the project, and it basically we had a chute at the top, and that was used for storage. And you, paid, you would place a empty full-size can at the bottom, rotate the lever clockwise, and it would basically crush the can. What we did is we added a voice recognition application to it, so the pilot or the air traffic controller could speak the commands as opposed to having to type them, and then we interface that with GE software. Um, this was inspired by my roommate who doesn't wake up to a sound alarm in the morning, so I have to throw a pillow at her to get her up out of bed and turn the alarm off. So what this does is the end of the string would be attached to an alarm clock, and when it goes off, it would pull the string and drop the pillow. <laughs> State Formula Racing Team. Uh, we design and build a new race car every year and we compete at uh, Michigan International Speedway and Auto Club Speedway out in Fontana, California. And, uh, it's a great design project for young engineers. Uh, learn a lot about engineering design and fabrication and just uh, basically business presentations also. Uh, learning how to run a business and organize an entire project for a full year. Uh, this is a wind power demonstrator uh, that's actually going to be delivered to Wood Creek Elementary School. It's a science school basis. They look at a lot of things that involve engineering. Basically, we have our electricity that's only applied by the wind, which simulates the wind that is applied over the wind turbines. The wind turbines spin collecting mechanical energy, turn mechanical energy into electrical energy, and power four lights, and we have a pump back there that's being powered. Basically, a spring-loaded cannon. And we have um, a button to fire it, basically a drill motor, it turns gears, it turns these gears, which rotates this cam that way. And then inside this PVC pipe there's a spring, um, and when, when the cam reaches a certain point, it actually releases. So that's how we release it. And then to reel it in we have another drill motor here that uh, we have attached to a T-bar, and then that just rotates and spins and reels in the fish. This is a solar vaccine refrigerator, and it's designed for developing countries throughout the world. We're imagining it to be used in places like Central America, parts of Asia, and Africa. Uh, we're not using solar energy in the traditional sense of creating electricity through photovoltaics. Instead, we're just using solar energy, the heat from the sun. So, the idea behind this product is that this hangs on the back of your wheelchair. It plugs right in with standard connections to your battery. And it circulates water through this jacket. There's tubes that line this jacket with calico wire. Very comfortable, free and inobtrusive, you know, something you can wear in all weather conditions. We're looking at developing this so that it'll have LCD readouts so you can determine what your body is, the temperature is um, with assistance without somebody telling you. Know? On top of that, we have manual control options right now. We want to have everything completely automated in the future. So if you choose, this will take care of that entire condition for you, and you can focus on the things you actually care about, you know, going around and living your daily life. Um, it's exciting, it's, uh, it's, it's action-packed, it's chaotic sometimes, but, um, but it's, it's a real big showcase for, um, for our engineering groups and the talents of